We don't mind a challenge now and again. I think it's took us. It's took us a full day yesterday, and it's 12 o'clock now. So two men. I don't think that's bad. We've dug a few holes. They haven't been best of digs. A solid base under this block perf. So I mean, getting them up itself has been a bit of a challenge. But yeah, over the moon with that. Good morning. Another week here, uh, Dale. Nice. Nice. Um, nice and wet. What's going on here? Agro in yard. Get a shaft on that, won't you, mate? Agro in yard, yeah. So, lads are going over to Greenhead College today, Huddersfield. We've got two sets of double gates and 75 metres of twin, two metre high to get done like a. Uh, Overflow car park. The lads actually did concrete in it yard and filled these holes in up. And that's a cell. We do with a bit bit longer to go off like, but uh, but I did put stuff on it. But it's pretty solid. Um, as you see I'm I'm stood on it now, it's, it's pretty solid. I'm just recovering from weekend away in London. <laughs> Far too many beers. But what a good weekend. Sightseeing as well, which was good. So yeah, we'll uh, load up, get some footage when we get over there. So, not a bad day at Airdale Fencing. It's Monday, we've actually got gone a bit faster than usual. We were hoping we should have brought some more gear with us. But yeah, as you can see, we're up to the gates there. It's going all the way around, all the plant bars are on. The last two posts we're just putting over here. Tomorrow, it'll be first thing, starting on the gates, get the rest of the fencing in. Next set of gates, and then join on to what we've just done. Yeah, we'll uh, get out of here and we'll uh, see you tomorrow. So we've just got gate force off now. First one, gate force in. There should be a panel for us. <laughs> Coming to come in. We're planning on getting all this done today. I'll be nipping off at about 12. Um, just got to go to Gals and pick up some gates as well. But yeah, we'll get cracked on today. Gates are on. The lads are just going to do drop bolts now here and here. I got that bit done yesterday and other gate earlier. Baggy's just doing this bit now. Extra little cut. Yeah, I believe just putting a bigger panel in down at the bottom there. Going all the way down and then we'll go down and hang that. So this bit here, you've seen on one of the previous videos. The panel, because it were severely high there then dropped all the way down there. The panel just, it just looks silly going up down and then up. So we're just going to replace this 2 metre panel for a 2.4i, probably cut a few ribs off at the bottom, sand it down, paint it back up and then that there will run nice and level all the way across. So this is going to be an overflow car park for Greenhead College. Yeah, looking good. Good morning campers, a lot better day today in the, uh, in the yard. It's, uh, oh, look at that. It's bright, the sun's trying to get out. What a difference it makes when the weather's a bit better. So the lads are back over at uh, Greenfield College at Huddersfield. Uh, they'll probably get most of it finished today. Uh, get the gate posts in, what, we'll just have the gates to hang and adjust and that tomorrow. There's concrete in yards going off well. <laughs> We've already stacked stuff on it. There's little patches that we did. Yeah, they're working, but they, I don't think they'll last long. Could have done with a week really before we drove over them. <laughs> We've already been over, over a mid fork truck loading up and stuff. Uh, some crank posts we've made there. There, Justin's coming back this afternoon. We've already got a load down at the galvanizers. Hopefully they might be ready, and then he's going to drop them off second load. And Carl's got another load to do, but we're actually waiting on a delivery of steel, which I think's coming Thursday. Uh, so we get them done, we start that job um, next week, so hopefully by the time we get them made in Galve, should should be about right, hopefully. It's bank holiday, well, that's what knacks everything up. But yeah, quite busy this week and next, obviously with the school holidays. I'm just debating buying a portable toilet, but like a proper one, um, not like one of these horrible sight ones, a proper one. 
I don't know if it'll put it over there where we're sort of made space now or where I originally thought by the gates there I'm, I'm in two minds because so it's not it's not cheap so I think 1500 quid for the toilet and then probably the same for the tank that goes under it and then we'd have to run them off some kind of IBCs and that's I'm going to have a look I still think it's probably better here We've already got his IBCs and everything here. We'll probably put one on top and then that'll do for the plumbing sort of thing. And then we'll take a, a fresh water one and run it into our office cabin. So then we can uh, use our hot water dispenser thing, which I've never used yet, to be honest. But, you know, I can use that, it's easier. Because at the minute I've got to literally bring me on water boil kettle when it was just me it was quite easy but now Carl's here Matt's here uh, and a few more people so yeah that is it hopefully the lads will get some good footage where they are today got a meeting very shortly somebody coming to uh, see me from the steel suppliers so yeah I shall get some footage later so it's Wednesday at El Fencing and we've finished the job Jim is just going up and just cleaning the last little bits. So it goes up to that wall there, all the way down. Two clamp bars on the corner. It's coming out to the end here. We're just finishing the last little bits up, putting drop bolts in. So it can pin. He's purposely asked for it to be 90 degrees so he can get individual cars. So this is for Greenhead College. And this is going to be the Roverflow car park. Jim is just finishing the last little touches up now. And uh, we'll take a little walk around. So this has uh, been two and a bit days, so just under half a day this, this end day. We've got another job to go to, we're actually going over to another school. Um, we have to get hot gear all the way through school. And um, it's only four panels. Uh, um, had to be done within uh, without term time, so that's what we're doing. So, like you see, all clamp bar system this, this is two metre high. And uh, if you look on one of the previous videos, like we said it last time, we replaced one of the two metre panels just because of the up and down situation just to get it all nice running level on the top. Now that looks a lot better. And you can see it steps. This section here, I believe one, two, three, are actually bolted to a concrete bed all the way to the end. Not bad. Lads are going to about to jump off now, get to the next job. I'm uh, going to trip myself over to Manchester, go get a few bits and bats, and then I'll be back over this way to go pick up some gates and stuff this afternoon from the uh, Galve. So yeah, productive day. We've got tomorrow to go, um, and I believe tomorrow we're actually starting a key clamp system. So it'll be interesting to see how this one goes up. Um, yeah, if you like what you see, feel free to give us a ring, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. So we're just over at Crofton Academy. We've done quite a bit here before actually. Crofton Academy over there. Uh, the site manager's here, Shane East Sound. So what we're actually doing, putting some key clamp railing in. We've got a bit to do here, just to stop the kids coming out of gate and literally running over here and getting run down. We're taking this little yellow one down apparently. And we're just running a little bit of key clamp just a few sections there and then the rest of it is literally following following round this curb here see that's got one laid out bag is just laying fittings out now just to make sure with it being on a bit of a slope it's a bit awkward and not like your normal fitting so it's just laying them out to make sure we've got enough of everything because I must admit when I, when I ordered it I wasn't sure what I needed uh, and then just up to there and then we're finishing it there. Yeah, so hopefully we've got enough fittings here. Let's like say if we need some more, then uh, just you know, like a nip to click it and get some more. So hopefully we'll get some footage as we go along. Right, good morning. It's Good Friday and we're working. I'll just show you uh, how we got on yesterday. All new to us, this key clamp. I think it's first time we've done it, so we're pretty impressed of uh, how it's gone. Got a nice line down here yesterday. Set these out, dig them all. Strung a line. 1.1 front block pave. Took, took blocks up neatly, cut them back. So we got all this done yesterday. It's like a basically, it's like a giant uh, Meccano set. 
bit fiddly but yeah we've got five to put down here just cutting this yellow barrier out i'm gonna put five down here and then there's a couple of posts up top to do we'll cut us middles in and then tart it up job well done a few bits left all these mark's overcompensated so plenty of a little bit left so yeah a couple up here up to that tree and uh we'll make it all look look good so yeah we'll be back with you soon with a finished video few moments later right here we have it really really pleased with how this one's turned out show you down here float it off nicely put all those middle railing Sort of creates an optical illusion here as if it's going through a wall. Tarmac finish is standard. We don't mind a challenge now and again. I think it's took us, it's took us a full day yesterday and it's 12 o'clock now so two men i don't think that's bad we've dug a few holes they haven't been best of digs a solid base under this block perf so i mean getting them up itself has been a bit of a challenge but yeah over the moon with that bit of a bespoke job there's baggy look Friday racing again to the pub. We'll have a bite to eat and get back, have a couple of beers and wrap it up for the weekend. So we'll be back with you on Tuesday. We're starting a big school local, so have a good weekend. Just following on from that video, come round corner for a bite to eat. Here's another job we did. Little crank job we did about 18 months ago. All this where they were doing it, ripping it all out back to the brick, converted it all to nursery. So yeah, we put all this in. Gates, double gate there. Cranked all that round there. Went up there. I think it were in winter when we did this, but yeah, fairly well. I thought they'd have had it tarmac like, but they've had this automated as well. Yeah, we went all the way up there, so yeah, we get everywhere, don't we?